Hello and Guru Scott. On this video, we're going to be replacing the stock Delphi or Delco stereo system that came in this 2001 Toyota Camry. And this is the system that has the JBL audio, and this is the head unit that was supplied by Delphi Electronics, Kokomo, Indiana. Piece of junk. Um, and we're replacing it because the volume control has a real difficult time working. And uh, so we're going to explain how to replace this unit with a newer one, which has a lot better capabilities. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to have to remove this bezel. And to do it, you're going to take out the cigar lighter, set it aside, take out the um, ashtray by pushing it in, and then you're going to pull it out like that. And then you're going to pull the whole bezel out, and it snaps in place. So you're going to want to use some... Uh, tools that are plastic and not metal to allow you to get a grab on it and pull it out like I've just done and then to get it past the gear shifter you're going to have to turn the key on push the brake pedal down put it in low and then it'll allow you to get this out easily so we're going to get that done and I'm going to come back um, just as a reminder when you're going to pull this bezel piece off down where the cigar lighter is and the ashtray you're going to have to pull loose a couple of wiring um, harness items, actually three. There's a light bulb that lights up the ashtray and a couple of um, just simple plug-in harnesses. You can unplug those, take those out. Now you need a 10 millimeter uh, socket and you're gonna take loose the four 10 millimeter bolts that hold this unit into place. And then you're gonna carefully pull it out and unplug it from the back. Um, there's a couple of plugs and there's an antenna plug and a couple other things. So we're gonna pull this main unit out and we're gonna show you um, what happens next. Okay, once you have the four 10 millimeter bolts out, you're gonna pull the unit out very slowly, and then you're gonna unplug it from the back, and then you're gonna immediately take it as fast as possible to your local electronics recycling bin and get rid of it, because it's a piece of crap. So, without further ado, we're gonna show you how to make the adapter cable that's gonna adapt the new deck with the Toyota um, harness. So we'll be back in a minute. Before you dispose of this unit um, in the electronics recycle bin, you're going to need to pull the brackets off. These are the dual or double din brackets that are going to go on the new stereo. So you're going to use an eight millimeter uh, socket, take them loose, take them off, and then um, we selected a Kenwood stereo so these should bolt right to it. So let's get all that checked out and we'll be right back. In order to install this Kenwood DPX 501 BT head unit into our 2001 Toyota Camry. We're going to have to do a couple of um, cable modifications. And so what we're going to do is we're actually going to use the stock JBL speakers and amplifiers. So to do that, we're going to have to have some low-level driver outputs out of this into the system that's already existing. And then we're going to not use the built-in speaker amplifiers that are in this unit. So I'm going to show you here in a second how we're going to build the cable. This is the harness that came with the Kenwood stereo. And this harness here is like an adapter harness that we're going to meld together to make one piece that, so the whole stereo can plug right into the car. And this is a Metra model number 708113. And you'll see it has RCA outputs here for the uh, front and rear channels. Plus it's gonna have some various other um, inputs and outputs that we'll talk about here in a few minutes. Anyway, we're gonna start getting this put together and we'll come back and talk about it. Okay, I'm ready to start making my connections and soldering them. So um, when you connect them together here, you wanna put them like this and twist them. And then you're gonna heat from the bottom, put a little bit of solder on your iron, heat from underneath and you want to use just enough solder to barely penetrate the connection. You should be able to see the wires actually in the connection but coated with solder as you do this. So we'll get this done. And I also wanted to mention I put the heat shrink tubing onto the wire before I started soldering it. So the heat shrink is down here. I'll slide it up 
heat shrink it, and I'll do all the wires, and they all match with color codes. Um, there's two blacks on this harness that we got, and then one black here, so we're going to put the one to the two. So we're going to get all that done, and we'll come back and show you the completed harness. Okay, we've mounted the uh, ears or mounting ears to each to the new stereo, and we use these four mounting holes and just barely snug them in. They don't need to be super tight, just snug. And then also on the back, we went ahead and zip tied this uh, microphone cable because we're not going to be using that feature. So now we're all ready to plug in the adapter harness, pop it into the car. So we'll be right back. All right, so I've got everything connected up. Um, we had already pre-labeled this to know that this is right rear um, phono output or RCA output, and that this one was the right front one. And so we have them matched with their mate. There's some more RCA connectors at the bottom, and those are for subwoofers. So anything you're not using, like there's an extra antenna wire here, go ahead and put tape on it so it doesn't short out with anything. And then now we're ready to slide this baby in, and then we'll uh, bolt it in and get it all tested up. I've slipped the unit in now. I do have to make a correction. I did have to move the bolts that went in right behind these ears back to a different space, about an inch down and or an inch back. And now it fits in fine. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the 10 millimeter bolts in and snug them up. Not too tight, just good and snug. And then we'll come back. At this point, we're ready to put the trim piece back on. Now this comes with some trim stuff, but uh, it's not gonna fit. So we're just gonna go ahead and pop it on because I think it's gonna look just awesome like it is. So we're gonna pop everything into place. And I also wanted to mention I put some Crytox grease where this pops in so that next time I need to take it out, it'll come out much easier. And I plugged in everything that goes in as far as for the uh, cigar lighter and ashtray. So now I'm going to reinsert those items and I'll come back and we'll test it. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and turn this to uh, accessory and it comes on and it's got a demo mode. And we're not going to play any music because um, our videos are monetized and we can't play somebody else's music on them. But you can see it all works. It's going through its little demonstration thing. And um, we have tested it and it works great. You can see all the different colors it's going to. Shows you it has Bluetooth capability and a bunch of other stuff. So in our description, we'll list out a few other double DIN models that you might be interested in that should work just as well, but this kind of gives you an overview for the 2001 Toyota Camry with the JBL system. And, you know, if yours is like ours, um, I've read on the internet, pretty much all of the Delphi head units had problems with the volume controls. So why even waste any money on, money on it? When you find out how inexpensive this is to do, you won't even want to bother wasting money on fixing the old one. You'll just get a new one that has all the various accoutrements so that you can tie in your iPhone and everything else you want to do. So that's all there is to this video. Thanks for watching. Tschüss.